Hello and welcome back to this KSP series where we're building better rockets and I'm trying to teach you a thing or two. Let's talk about some cool looking stuff because let's face it, yep, going to space is all good but we want to look cool while we do it and a lot of design decisions in KSP are made because of form over function. Uh, with the real world life design, function decides form. Like uh, Engineers don't set out to build something that looks pretty, they make set out to build something that works. We're kind of backwards, which is okay. So let's, let's have a look, let's have a play around, let's talk about how we can make better looking rockets that look awesome. So I've got this, uh, this pretty plain Jane rocket here, it's just the a capsule, the top stage, and then the bottom booster stage, which is meh. You know, it'll do the job, but it's not going to look good while doing it. So I wanted to do something a little bit different down here. But how, do you ask? Okay, our thrust to weight right now is um, pretty borderline. We can't really do anything less. So let's let's have a bit of a look. And this isn't really a, an early game concept. You're going to need to um, come up with some uh, later game technology in order to do this. But once you do, you can really start to build some nice shit. Uh, where is the... No, they're too big. I thought there was another nose cone. Was I wrong? I might have been wrong about that, but that's okay. There are ways to do it. So let's say I wanted to build something like a uh, Delta II. Instead of having the one rocket underneath, I'll have two. Now this looks pretty ugly at the moment, but I'll work on that. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that it looks like it belongs. Like the rocket was made with this in mind. Well, it's believable. It doesn't look great, but it's believable. Now we can use these little gizmos up here to do things in the game that we never used to be able to and they're awesome, so get used to them. Now we've got a couple of things, so one is place, that's where you pick things up and you place them. Two is where you offset them, so you click on a part and then you can move it around. Okay, you can slide it in and out, up, down, so on and so forth. And then number three is rotate, so you can rotate them out, do some funky things there. So let's get this lined up. now. The next important thing is the angle snap down here. So right now this will snap to an angle. If I move it, it'll jump. So it's snapping to angles, it's snapping to nodes, and it's doing things that way. If if I change this to no angle snap, okay, go to offset, it'll move smoothly, but it won't snap to any nodes. Remember that because it will be important. When you're trying to build rockets, they need to be balanced as much as possible. nearly believable. We'll just move move this up a little bit. Move these in a little bit. I'm just looking for something that looks good, basically. There we go. And there is a dual liquid stage. <laughs> And you'll notice that our thrust to weight all of a sudden is much, much higher. Because obviously we've added two engines, one stage. Delta V is still much the same. Now what we could do here to get this right is just throttle these engines back to 1.5ish. And because they're in symmetry, they'll do it together. So that's, that's one way of doing things. And as you get into the bigger rockets, they actually become better looking because you get some more parts. I had to use that nose cone there. Allow me to demonstrate if, just say this is the bottom stage, so we'll have the fuel tank. Right, we'll go to aerodynamics, grab, there's a slanted nose cone that actually works really nice. I'll angle snap this, okay, I want it to snap to the angle because I want it orthogonal. And um, say so we'll go with three engines. This will be beastly. You watch this. Did I get that wrong? Oh, I did. Let's let's go back. Okay. 
Okay, instead of this, right, I'm not going to use that. Because I got the form factor wrong. This, this is going to look much better. Okay. So I'll just radial, radially attach these. Okay, like that. I'll throw my engines on the bottom. Okay, and you're thinking, that looks like poo. I know it does. That's okay, we'll change it. So grab the offset. Go in. We'll offset. We'll turn off angle snap, because I don't want it to angle snap now. Uh, it doesn't look much better, does it? We'll grab the straight one. The straight one will look better. Let's snap that to the angle. Go this way. Let's grab the engine. T45. There we go. Offset. Aha. That looks much better. That's what's up. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. So let's let's talk about some advanced engine blocks. So back to what I was doing. If I just go to an, a new craft, we won't save that. I can build it again. Uh, say this is just the bottom stage of a rocket. What we could do is we can play around with this and do several things like you don't have to stick the same form factor under this engine for example this matches up with this this is a two and a half meter part that's two and a half meter tank you don't have to do that what you could do for example is we could grab the advanced nose cone again i love this nose cone it's awesome go with three engines grab the t45 that's actually going to be a little bit weak for this. Now, quick pro tip, if you press F, you see that that changes it to local, and F in this regard is absolute. So F is with regard to the VAB. So you see that how that's squared to the VAB? When we turn it to local, it's actually snapped to the part. So I can move this directly in and out. If it was absolute, I'd be moving it offset. Okay, you see how that rotates around the craft? That's not what I want. So I'll offset this, press F to change it into local. And we're actually probably gonna need more engines than that if we were going to carry anything decent. So let's uh, just pick this up and place it again. So we'll go with four engines, we'll go orthogonal. Okay, there's our four engines. We'll grab one more, and we'll throw it underneath. Now you can see that when you're actually locked onto the right angle, changing the um, orientation doesn't actually change anything at all. So that's good news. So we'll turn off angle snap so that we can get these into a nice spot. Actually move them down a little bit so that the thruster block is roughly equal. There we go. And there is a five engine first stage. And this this would re lift a respect respectable amount of stuff. It's got a thousand kil kilonewtons of thrust. And would actually go to orbit as it sits. <laughs> so that's that's pretty funny. Now, let's, uh, let me just load up a craft for you to give you an idea of what you could do with uh, these varied engines. So, this is a Falcon 9 replica. It's not exact, but it's close. And what I've done is I've managed to get nine engines stuck underneath this thing and made it look roughly like a Falcon 9. This thing flies awesomely because these are all T-45s and they all gimbal. So the amount of control authority I have on this is awesome. If I load this up, we have a Falcon 9 Heavy. Which is the same thing except with two more Falcon stages on either side. So awesome, awesome craft and it looks the business too. Absolutely looks the business. So you can see by offsetting them, snapping them, moving around, adjusting them, you can come up with some really, really nice looking rockets and they're effective which is the most important part because if it doesn't look good you're probably not going to use it 
sorry, if it doesn't work, you're not going to use it. And if it looks good while you're using it, while it works, then happy days. So that, uh, that pretty concludes this tutorial. That's all I really wanted to show you is how to do that kind of thing. Because it is a, a good skill and it makes, makes playing the game awesome. Obviously you need to make sure that all these engines are connected to fuel. Some of these actually aren't. So I'd have to run around with fuel ducts and connect them all up. But I'll leave that with you. Good luck. Make sure that if you make something cool, send me a tweet. My Twitter is in the description.